Hi, it's Craig, WRNM 382. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the GMRS 50 V2 from BTEC, and we'll get to it right after this. The items come in the box, you get a power cable, the mic, the RJ45 to K1 cable, owner's manual, the mounting bracket, mounting hardware, and the radio. They've done a great job with this manual. It's very easy to understand. There's no errors in translation. They also give you additional assistance if you need it to go to Miklor.com. This manual will pretty much tell you everything you absolutely need to know on this radio and microphone. They do give you, as soon as I find it, the chart for all the channels. And they give you the GMRS frequency chart. And one thing to note that with this radio, channels one through seven are limited to five watts per the FCC and channels eight through 14 are disabled. And again, that's thanks to the FCC and their rules. Talks about how to do programming and scanning, adding NOAA channels. Gives you a complete guide to the menu system. So you can look up everything you need to know, figure out how it all sets up, how it all works. And of course the usual DCS tables and CTCSS tables. You can control virtually every aspect of the radio through the hand mic. You can enter the menu up here on the top left. As you can see it gets you in, then you can use these to go up and down. To get out of it, just hit exit. And if, again, if you want to switch between the different channels, you push the top right button, that'll move you around. You can lock the radio press and hold as you see the key come on there again by the to the left of the battery for scanning you can go up and down on your channels that you have using these two buttons if you long press the menu button that'll put you into VFO and then you can input whatever frequency you want For example, press on hold again to get back to memory. Down here, you can also do the power. You can see it changing right there from high to medium to low. At the time of filming this video, this radio is going for $209.89. It's a 50 watt radio, has 256 fully customizable channels. You can scan and listen to 2 meters as well as other frequencies on 40 meter, 440. You also have no weather that you can listen to. They say it can do quad watch. We'll take a look at that a little later on. It has the Vox for hands-free use. They also have this RJ45 and K1 accessory cable. That allows you to use different kinds of microphones if you desire. High power is 50 watts, low power is 5 watts. Again, the 256 channels. The bands that are supported, you can receive and transmit on the GMRS channels, and you can receive only for FM, VHF, UHF, and NOAA. Weighs 2.65 pounds. The antenna jack is your usual SO239 connector. Nice thing is BTEC is a U.S. company. You can also buy this on Amazon. It costs a little more money, but you might get it a little faster. From their website, you can go to the manual and software tab, and you can download the manual in case you lose yours. And you can also download their programming software as well as Chirp. You can get a specification sheet, which Gives you a little more detail on what's going on with the radio. To use theirs, just go ahead and click on that. Then once you have it downloaded, go ahead and install it. Starting here with the button on the right, this is your power knob as well as volume control. 
This knob over here, you push it in to get into the menu. To get out of the menu, hit exit. Turn the knob to go around the menu as you needed. You have your VFO memory, call button, your high and low power, and press to hold for the lock. You'll see it show up on the next to the battery there. Your monitor, the FM button gets you your commercial FM stations. This one exits you out of the menu as well as moves around between any of the four channels here. You can see the arrow moving with each one. This over here is for your programming cable and this RJ45 is for the microphone. Right here you have the SO239 for the antenna. You have a very large heat sink with a fan buried inside there. Behind the cable, this is for an external speaker and then obviously your power cable. The speaker is on the top up here. Now we're going to program the radio using Chirp. First thing you want to do after you get it all installed on your computer, go up here to radio, download from radio, choose the proper COM port, in my case it's three. Choose your company name, we want BTEC. Then find the right radio you have. In this case, it's GMRS 50 V2. It'll give you some warnings. You can ignore those or you can read them. You go ahead and start downloading. Once you've got everything downloaded, you can go ahead and start inputting frequencies that you want. First one we're going to do is a local GMRS repeater, 462675. You can name it. We're going to call it Santiago. We do need a tone. And the CT CTCSS tone we're going to use is 146.2. The direction we want is plus. Change that. We're in FM, we have power, you can alter that, you can make it high, medium, or low. And then if you want to monitor certain channels, like from two meters, like we'll do the national calling frequency. You get this warning for anything that's not a GMRS frequency. You don't have to worry about anything else since we can't transmit on this anyways. Once you've got all the frequencies in that you want, go over here to settings, basic settings. It's your regular menu items. We'll change some of those real quick. Auto power, we'll, auto power, we'll do to 30 minutes. You have your backlight timer. All the usual stuff. B and D, I'll change to frequency because down here on the sink, we're going to combine A and B and C and D so that we're only really monitoring two channels. And then starting with STFC all the way down to the TXFC. You can change all these different colors, and these are all the different things you see on the screen. So A and C, we're going to make green, or indigo. The signal one, we'll turn that one green. You can change your mic gain. Now, once you have everything that you like there, you can go over to advanced settings. And this is the, the line you see at the very bottom of the display screen. We'll change that. You have other settings, your work mode settings, and then different DTMF and tones. Now, once you get everything set up the way you want it, go up here to radio upload to radio and again you get the warning
And now you can see how some of the colors have changed. And here's the two that we put in earlier. We have National Calling and the Santiago Repeater. And that's all there is to it for programming this radio with Chirp. It's pretty similar to BTEC's own computer software for programming. I want to check the power out on this radio right quick. As I said on the website, it's supposed to be 5 watts low power and 50 watts on high power. Starting with channel 1. And we're at 4.19, 4.2. Go to channel 15. And we're at 37. Now it kind of hits 38 for a second. Try 22 before we go into the repeaters. And that one again, 37. See how we do in the repeaters. And we're only at 31. For a brief second, it was at 32. Let's try the one that we programmed. WRNM382 testing. Even though it's going into a dummy load. But as you can see, we're only at 30. Now 31 watts. It's not nearly as high as I'd like it to be. I'd like to see it around 45. One of the items that come in the box is this RJ45 to K1 adapter. It has your RJ45 on one end, as well as on the other side, and then you have your K1 adapter. The reason they give you this is should you want to use a standard K1 adapter style microphone. Then you can use it just like the standard BTEC microphone that comes with it. WRNM382 testing. I think this is a solid radio. I find it easy to use. I like the fact you can control everything from the hand mic or you can use programming software. The only complaint I have is that it's not pushing nearly enough power. Like I said earlier, I wish it would be pushing about 45 watts. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, why don't you check out one of these other videos. And again, thanks for watching.